Yeah, so the drawback, so the drawback of the differential centrifugation, so what is the drawback? The drawback is the cross contaminations of the particles that can be overcome uh, by the layering of the sample as the narrow zone on the top of the density gradient that actually done in the rate journal centrifugation so what happens the density of the gradients uh, so one criteria for the rate journal centrifugations is that the density of the gradients have to be lower than the density of the samples and that's why bands are formed uh, during the sedimentation process so you will see how the bands are formed so the gradients why are you using you have to be quite curious you quite be curious why the gradients are using the gradients are actually using to stabilize the bands okay to stabilize the zones of the particles or bands the particle that provide the medium with increasing and bands also provides the medium with increasing density and viscosity as you go throughout the centrifuge tube that will give a uh, increasing uh, increase of uh, the density and viscosity so the speed at which the particle sediments that depends upon the density that whole re the whole re relies on the density of the sample is the rate journal centrifugations so in rate journal centrifugations the whole principle depends upon the density difference of the sample and here low density sugar is actually used for the gradient solutions low density sugar solutions we will see how to prepare is used as the gradient solutions okay and this is act as a shallow this is act as a shallow gradient for the centrifugation technique so what happens as a particle moves down through the density medium zones containing the particles of similar sizes are actually formed uh, because the faster sedimenting particles are going uh, forwards moving forward as compared to the lower as compared to the lower uh, sedimenting particle so what happens in a centrifuge tube throughout the density gradient whenever you are going throughout the density gradient particles are moving from the density gradient so faster sedimenting particles faster sedimenting particles are moving throughout the density gradient uh, ahead moving ahead as compared to the slower sedimentation particles so that's why you are forming that's why you are ending up with the formations of a band with the particles of same size or zones containing the particles of same size so there will be zones like this in the middle in the upper and in the lower part of the centrifuge tube now you take it out in different different centrifuge tube you can differentiate of the different of the particles of different density so that actually happens we will see now the experimental technique how people do the regional centrifugations okay and one thing to mention not to mention you know already this regional centrifugations is actually the part of the density gradient centrifugations where the density where the this relies on the density gradient in regional and we will see next isopicnic both the case density gradient actually formed and then the solution is gone through the throughout the density gradient and is separated okay that's the case now preparations of sucrose gradient is an important step for the regional centrifugations as you can understand so this happens but formations of first 25 percent sucrose solutions you form 25 percent in a uh, let's say word by volume in a centrifuge tube then you freeze it when you freeze it will form a dense sugar solutions uh, throughout the throughout the centrifuge tube and if you then thaw it then it will create a density gradient in the centrifuge tube of the sugar solutions in the higher part the, the top it will be low density and in the lower part at the bottom it will be high density sucrose and that is like this one if you fridge it will form a higher density sucrose lower part and low density sucrose at the higher part and that will form uh, you can see here and that is form that will form a density gradient so that will form a density gradient here now we will see how the separations people do first what happens you have prepared the sucrose solution sucrose gradient you have prepared the sucrose gradient where higher density sucrose at the lower part and the lower density sucrose at the upper part now you pour the solutions which contains the smaller particles as well as the larger particles now you centrifuge the particles to settle according to the density and you will end up in different different 
zones you can see here this zones is actually of the particles of very high density and this zones is a, a light light yellow this zones light yellow D deep yellow is the high density light yellow is the middle density means lesser than the higher and the light yellow more lightest yellow is very very uh, low density very low density lightest density particles you will end up different different zones of the same size of the particle same density of the particles now when if you separate if you make a hole at the bottom part at the bottom part of the centrifuge tube and uh, separate each uh, each uh, zones in different centrifuge tube then you will end up first this one the solutions the contains nothing and this one contains this one the second centrifuge tube this contains the higher density this was the middle density and this contains very lightest density so this is the decreasing mass of the particle or decreasing density of the particle will be formed in different centrifuge tube and you can understand that all the particles will eventually centrifuge eventually uh, form pellet if centrifuged long enough all the particles will form pellet uh, and 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 uh, because the uh, and this is because of the best uh, based on the principle that the density of the particles are greater than the density of the gradient that have to be uh, fixed for the regional centrifugations